All right, guys, let's see if this works. Um, <clears throat> I've seen quite a few people that uh, they want a 18650 battery pack and uh, everyone's out of stock because everybody wants those. And uh, they want to know how you can make one because when you solder a protected board battery, um, they're just freaked out that they're going to mess it up. Uh, so I'm going to show you, hopefully, uh, because I didn't prepare for this at all and I just needed to do it and figured I'd turn on the camera. But I've got a Trustfire 18650 battery and I have a male JST connector because uh, that's how the Custom Saber Shop does theirs. So I'm gonna do mine the same way. Um, so here we go. Uh, the big key, uh, since I, I've soldered one of these up before, the big key at least that I figured out was that you just, you don't wanna, I mean, you don't wanna hold your soldering iron and just have it on here all day. So I'm just gonna show you kind of how I did it before and I think it's gonna work out again. We'll see. So I started out um, and like I said, not a professional don't know if this is the right way to do it this is just how I do it um, and I'm also gonna try and do it while holding the camera or working around the camera um, so anyway so I started out uh, I actually just put the solder on the uh, on the battery I'm gonna try really hard to do this while working around the camera Okay, so I just got my little dab of uh, solder on there, and uh, I'm obviously this is the negative. So um, let's see, I'm, this is not easy to do with the camera there. But that probably is holding it on a little longer than you should, but should be fine. Yeah, that's good. So, let's see. We've got our, uh, that's not going anywhere. So we've got our negative on there. So I'm gonna take this around. I'm gonna kind of get an estimate of where I need to cut my positive wire. So then I'm gonna take my, my little snips here. I'm gonna snip that. I'm gonna put that in my pile of wires because I'm cheap and you never know when you're going to need to use. I mean, that's, let's see, that's a good little scrap of wire. Uh, that could go between, you know, a switch and a recharge port or from a recharge port down to a uh, LED line. You never know. You may as well save it. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to get a little more than that. So I'm going to get about that much wire. Now oh, I'm going to use my these again so I can kind of try and show you guys as I attempt to do this all right so now we're gonna do the same thing we did before Let's see I'm actually gonna get the solder on this there we go and now we're gonna do the same thing we did before we're gonna try to I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys this as much because I need to actually try and do a decent job for myself. So I don't know if you guys can even see that. But, oh, too much. This is a good example of what not to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go kind of off camera for a second here. But uh, essentially, yeah, I think it helps if you get the solder on there first and then you go from there. So, that's not the best, but it's holding. So now, as you can see, that essentially is like this. And uh, I'm sure there's better ways to cover this. I know they make specific wrap for it. Um, what I'm gonna do is essentially just put some electrical tape over this, kind of over here, and then wrap it around. Same thing here, and one in the middle to keep this all in place. And uh, 
that's your battery pack. Um, as long as you seal these up, you're good. Um, and I'm 99% sure this is gonna work. Let's, let's test it just for uh, the sake of science. So there you go. Clearly I didn't screw anything up. Nothing's exploded. Um, it's like most things, I just dive into it without really thinking too much about it. And uh, I've had zero issues with wiring my batteries this way. So don't be afraid to get this. You should already have JST connectors um, with leads if you're doing your own sabers, in my opinion. Uh, these are about nine bucks for two of them shipped on eBay. So you really can't go wrong with them. And as long as you wire them up like this, you can always swap them between sabers. Um, you could even not do a recharge port and you know pull it out and uh, charge it charge it this way. So uh, hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, tell me that I'm terrible at doing electronics if you think that. But if you do, you should at least tell me how to do it better because this is the only way I know how to do it and it's been working out for me. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like my videos. Uh, I'm trying to do a new Sabre related do-it-yourself type thing every couple days. Um, so suggestions are also welcome as well. And thanks for watching.